back to Lockdown Licks, that seemingly inexhaustible well of percussion insight and wisdom. <laughs> uh, lots of you are asking about practice, and it's a really, really big topic. Um, and it's something we're going to be revisiting time and time and time again. Uh, at the moment, we've got the perfect opportunity to do really creative practice, looking at the things that we don't do so well. I've already been talking about that, but one of the things that I'm getting asked a lot is about practicing as part of you know your working life as a musician. And all I can say is always try to be as prepared as you can possibly be for whatever professional situations uh, you're likely to encounter. Uh, and I say this as somebody who, for his young life, winged everything. I never, ever prepared for gigs. It simply didn't occur to me. Uh, when Back in the old days when I used to do auditions, I would just turn up and you know, play whatever was asked or try to read whatever was put in front of me. It, ne it never occurred to me to think about the music I was likely to be playing and really kind of bone up on anything stylistic or genre specific to that music or to just pick up a book of rhythmic notation and get my reading chops together um i i just had this very very um random slightly disorganized approach to practice and preparation and it wasn't until i was 44 years old and my great friend ian palmer invited me to take part in the fir first of his uh now historic series of drum concerts uh, that it actually ever occurred to me to prepare for a gig because I thought there's going to be some great drummers beside me on the stage, the industry is going uh, to be there, the audience, the audience is going to be full of drum fans who um, you know, don't know me and I felt there was a, a good opportunity to make a really good impression and that was the first gig in my life that I actually prepared for at 44 years of age. It was a total game changer and I wish somebody had told me to prepare for gigs when I was about 18 or 19 years old. Who knows what I'd be doing now? I'll probably I'd still be here talking to you.